Damien Spalman, please. Hi, Shane. Um, just ask you how, how good it was to be back in an island shirt. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, it's always a special moment and uh, delighted, uh, f grateful for the manager for, for giving me a game and felt good to play football again. Sure, sure. And can I just ask, I mean, this has been a, perhaps a big week for Ireland, you know, a couple of decent performances, decent results, you know, after a difficult year. What, what can this do for you going forward? I think it can, it can do a lot for the team. I think it's been, it's been probably the best 10 days in a long time that, that we've had together and we've really bonded and, and got to got to do a lot more things together than, than what we have since Stevens took, took charge so uh, I think you could see it on the pitch as well everyone's really together and, and, and we're bonding and we're all pushing in the same direction we've we've had a, a lot of unluck, unlucky situations over the last year or so so we're hopefully we turn the corner and, and push on and get a few more lads back from injury and, and kick on and important to take this momentum into September now. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was the main reason for the games and and try and be positive, positive count, positive results and, and hopefully something to build on and I feel like we have done that. Owen Cowles, Thank please. Um, hey Shane, like, how do you assess like where you were last September going to Bulgaria to where you are now? Like, Is this something you would have taken? But, well, obviously you wouldn't have taken with the results, but do you feel you're going the right way again? With Ireland? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, listen, we were obviously disappointed with the year we've had. I feel like we've not really got what we deserve, but it's football, I'd, I'd say. And as I said before, very unlucky with some situations, players, COVID and uh, injuries and stuff. But we know we have to get better. We know we have to get results when in the qualification games. And we got off to a bad start, I'd say. So um, a lot to do, but... As I said, these this ten days we just had to get our feels like a lot, a big turning, turning a uh, corner, and hopefully we can uh, build on it as it is. Does it still feel like you can reach a World Cup or get a playoff for a World Cup? I think it always is. Uh, with any Irish squad, you you've always got that belief until you don't. Listen, there's only a couple of games played, and if you write us off now, it'd be it'd be stupid. I'd say so. Um, listen, we're just getting going. Hopefully. The performances turn into results, and and we'll shock a few teams hopefully, and uh, and kick on. So we fully believe in here. We fully believe that the manager's got the right thing going here, and and uh, with a little bit of luck with players, no COVID and stuff like that, we can uh, kick on. Alright, thanks, Shane. Okay, if we could keep the two questions each, because we're going to have Chidozi of Benny as well coming up. So, uh, Gavin Cooney, please. Hi Shane, uh, congratulations on your performance tonight. Uh, can you give us a little bit of insight, if you don't mind, into how difficult a season that you've just gone through? Uh, it's very, very difficult. I think, I think everyone's well noted that I've had a, I've had a tough time on and off the pitch, and I felt like I've dealt with it as best as I can. Obviously, I haven't planned it to go like this, but but that's a setback I got and. I'm big and ugly enough, I'd say, to, to deal with it and, and try and come out the other side. I feel like this season's over with now and I feel like mentally I've, I've turned a, I've turned the page and I'm not going to stop now. I'm going to keep going through the summer and and be ready for when pre-season comes to hit the ground running. I feel like I've had sort of a year off where I've had, I haven't played my best stuff and I'm ready to sort of get that back next season. And just lastly for me, uh, how much of a boost is it to go into that summer with another good performance for Ireland, another Man of the Match Crystal, or did you feel that regardless of what happened tonight, that you, that you had turned that corner mentally, as you say? Yeah, listen, it's never been about me, it's been about it's been about the team and, and I'm just trying to do my best if it's on the pitch or off the pitch, I feel like I can still bring a lot to the squad and I'm grateful for the manager for even picking me, I haven't played football since February, so to even be in the squad, I'm very grateful for that and I'm lucky so um, yeah, it was nice to be back on the pitch playing football, there's no better feeling and and to get a positive result everyone, everyone knows Hungary are going to the Euros and it was a tough test with all their fans back in so uh, I think we can take a lot of positives from it Thank And just you. one more from Dan for Shane because we're trying to squeeze in another player okay? Yeah, yeah just one question Hi Shane, um, Hi. Shane, you, you mentioned the manager, Stephen, in, the, in your post-match interview there, and you've mentioned a couple of times you're grateful that he's he's picked you. But 
obviously I'm sure it's difficult for you as someone who's always started games to find yourself on the bench at times. I mean, can I just ask, how has the manager handled that? Have you had to have a couple of conversations just about your status and, you know, in terms of just how to sort of deal with that, you know, maybe leaving him on the bench sometimes? He's been he's been great. We we talk quite often, even during the season. We have calls all the time. And listen, I'm realistic as well. I'm, I'm not I'm not stupid thinking I'm going to come in here when I'm kicked the ball since February for Celtic was my last game. And, and I know my performances. Listen, I'm grateful that he's picked me because I feel like I can bring stuff into the squad. And I sit down. We sit down and talk about it. And I'm ma- that, be a man to man. Listen, it's never been about me. It's been about trying to do the best for this team and. If that's on the bench or around the squad every day around the place, and that's what I'm trying to do. But me and him have got a great relationship, and I think everyone in the squad has got that relationship where you can sit down and talk to him about anything, and, and he's always there for you. Top man. See Thanks, you. Sure. See you later. Okay, we've got Chidozi Ogbeni coming in. Uh, granted, the uh, press conference.